Good morning, this is Tara coming to you live from my home, an at-home edition of our um, previously planned 2020 Census Day event that was to be held on Saturday, um, April 4th as part of Museum Day Live at History Fort Lauderdale. However, since we are all doing our best to stay at home and respect the CDC guidelines and other many, many municipal and regional and uh, state and national guidelines. Um, we are experimenting with providing and digital engagement of our previously planned museum day, partly because of the time sensitive nature of some of the material that we were gonna present as part of Museum Day Live. And that is a collaboration with the US Census Bureau. So I have a presentation here um, of slides by Jacqueline Arroyo prepared specially for this presentation. She's the partnership specialist at the Atlanta Regional Census. And she wanted to take, uh, take a few minutes to update us on the progress of our nation's once a decade count, the 2020 uh, decennial census. As a reminder, the US Constitution mandates a census of the population every 10 years. The 2020 census will count everyone who lives in the USA as of April 1st, 2020. The census statistics help determine the number of seats each state holds in the US House of Representatives and how billions of dollars in federal funds will be allocated by state, local, and federal lawmakers every year for the next 10 years. By now, most households should have received at least one invitation to respond to the 2020 census. These invitations included a census ID that can be used to respond online and a toll-free number that can be used to respond by phone. While people are home, sheltering in place, this is a good time to complete the census questionnaire online, by phone, or by regular U.S. mail. You can respond online at 2020census.gov or call one of the following toll-free numbers. For English, 844-330-2020. In Spanish, 844-468-2020. Or in Haitian Creole, uh, this one's a little harder for me. 844 877-2020. If you speak other languages, a list of those phone numbers can be found at 2020census.gov slash en slash ways dash to dash respond slash responding dash by dash phone dot html. Respond by mail starting April 8th. The U.S. Census Bureau will start mailing paper questionnaires to households who have not already responded to the 2020 census. So this is, you can reply anytime with or without the census ID at 2020census.gov or by phone. The success of the census is measured in participation rates of households in every community. For the very first time, households can monitor census response rates in real time at 2020census.gov slash response.rates. Uh, response dash rates. Information is updated every day around 3 p.m. This slide reflects household responses as of Wednesday, April 1st for the state, Broward County, City of Fort Lauderdale, and nationwide. The slide also shows the comparable response rate from the 2010 census. For example, the final 2010 census rate for Broward County was 73 percent compared to Wednesday's response rate of 36 percent. We got to get on the phone and on our online if possible and get those results in. The U.S. Census Bureau has adjusted some operations due to the coronavirus situation. Self response rate. There's one, two, three, four. There's five things we're going to talk about. First one is the self response rate, uh, phase. The deadline for households to respond to the census has been extended to August 14th. The original time frame was March 12th to July 31st. Secondly, mobile questionnaire assistance. The time frame for when census staffs will assist people with, with responding online at places such as grocery stores and community centers was moved from March 30th to July 1st to April 13th to August 14th. The non-response follow-up and interview census takers 
will interview households in person that is, have not responded online by phone or by mail. This operation has been delayed from May 13th to July 31st to May 28th to August 14th. Service-based enumeration. The time frame for census to work with service providers at soup kitchens, shelters, and regularly scheduled food vans to count people they serve who are, are experiencing homelessness. This operation has been delayed from March 30th to April 1st to April 29th to May 1st. Deliver apportionment counts to the president. By law, the Census Bureau will deliver each state's population total, which determines its number of seats in the U.S. House Representatives. This operation is on schedule with no delays. The Census Bureau continues to evaluate all 2020 census field operations and will communicate any further updates as soon as possible. Bringing it all together, this timeline shows the big picture of the 2020 census operation activities. Last, on Wednesday, we celebrated Census Day, April 1st. Next month, census takers are scheduled to go door to door to count households that have not responded. And in December, we will provide the state totals to the president. For households that do not respond to the census, enumerators, also known as census takers, will go door to door to count households that did not respond. So we want you to be able to identify census takers. The census takers will wear an ID badge that includes their name, photo, Department of Commerce, watermark, and an expiration date. They will carry an official bag and or laptop with the Census Bureau logo, and they'll be working between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. So those are some of the ways that you can tell if it's a Census Bureau, Census, census employee that's at your door. With so many scams, I wanted you to make sure that the Census Bureau will never ask for your full social security number, will never ask for money, for money or a donation, will never send requests on behalf of any political party, and will never request PIN codes, passwords, or similar access for information uh, to your credit cards, banks, or other financial accounts. So how can you help? Join us in spreading the word that the census is important, safe, and easy to respond. Help us achieve a complete and accurate count by encouraging family and friends to complete their census online. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact Jacqueline Arroyo, the partner specialist at U.S. Census Bureau. Her number is 678-662-2822, or you can email her at jacqueline.hill.arroyo at 2020census.gov. And remember, there are still jobs available, so if you're interested in becoming a census taker for your community, just go online to 2020census.gov slash jobs. I know there's still many communities within Fort Lauderdale as well who haven't uh, hired their allotted census takers. So thank you so much uh, to Jacqueline for providing this information. Thank you to you all for tuning in. And be sure to watch for upcoming online presentations that we will uh, continue to have, including some virtual tours of the current exhibition and past exhibitions that we've had at History Fort Lauderdale. Thank you for listening today, and I hope you guys are all staying well, stay safe, we're safer at home, and we're all in this together. Have a good day.